Hello, Internet. We're back with uh, more Dave the Diver. I didn't stream on Monday, but we're going to make up for it and get Dave a little bit closer to his goal of... Well, I don't know what his ultimate goal is, but uh, today we're going to talk to sea people, hopefully. I think he's lost sight a little bit of why you started doing this. I can relate to that. Also, they make Dave work on a Sunday? Come on. We got 3,000 monies. Maybe we should try to upgrade our equipment a little bit more. Like, that's pretty cheap to get our uh, air tank a bit bigger. Or we can carry more stuff. I want to carry more stuff. Alright. Now, we are going to try to make as best as we can, a beeline for the sea people. So we can start some interspecies communication. First, we gotta catch these guys, though. Do I want to kill that jellyfish? Probably not. Shark harpoon. No, oh, shock harpoon. I think I did that before. I was like, oh, it's a shark harpoon, but no, it's actually a shock harpoon. I do not like the... Okay, this was a mistake. I do not like the mini game for the shock harpoons. The mashing A and D is kind of hard, and I'm afraid it's going to damage my keyboard. There's a lot of jellyfish today. This guy's... Oh, yeah, we're gonna catch him. really want to deal with two lionfish at the same time. Could shoot them. Could use less effective violence. Less delicious violence. But no, all that's taken care of. And we still got plenty of weight to go. Uh, let's see what's in this box. If we can find one of those transport shuttle things, that would be ideal. Okay, remember C is to use it, R is to change. Why are those... I don't understand the... I don't understand WAS controls. Why they spread the... various buttons the way they did. This does not seem like a safe place to be. This fish looks good. You would think it would be easy for me to click on fish, wouldn't you? And then I would just disappoint you. Oh, it's kind of like a tuna of some sort. It's a scad. Not familiar with SCAD. Let's catch some more of them. Since we upgraded our capacity to carry fish.
Man, I'm a walking natural disaster right now. Dave's all like, why don't you go after those big companies with their big company ships taking all the big fish? Ooh, shipwreck. It's like, no, actually, no, Dave. Dave does enough damage on his own. I'm gonna assume the hole down to the sea people is down here somewhere. Because always that one spot. That was like a really big sardine. Oops. Well, now I gotta catch it to put it out of its misery. A mackerel. Yeah, that's like a big sardine, kinda. I am putting these fish through way too much hardship. Being a very bad, uh... No suggest there's currents here. Being a very bad, uh, ecological steward right now. Just like, ooh, that looks tasty. Let's catch that animal. On the other hand, you could say I'm just, you know, pretending to be like Darwin. Darwin was all about, hey, that animal looks tasty. Let's catch it and eat it. Both hands on that one. Uh, dinosaur bones are heavy, but we got someone paying us to pick them up, so. Nice. That scooter will help. Especially if we get overburdened and <laughs> can't swim fast anymore. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Hope this is the way down. Yeah, depths. Okay. So we'll probably... Are you food? We'll probably need to find a flashlight. And I probably should have saved that. For after we pick up a flashlight. Let's use our... Oxygen... Then we got our flashlights, so now we can find the sea people. The music down here gets intense. Are you food? You wouldn't think something that small would be able to take a, you know, direct electric shock. Plus a harpoon the size of its body. Red bream? Do those live this deep? Whatever. Okay, we got an escape pod. That's good to know. Sea people are over this direction somewhere. That guy's aggro. Nothing else we can slow him down. Alright. Got one fang tooth. This is not looking promising. Probably need to go up and around this way. Oh, 
All right. <clears throat> Hello, sea people. I'm just here to talk. Mm. I forgot why. I guess just try out the sea people translator. Let's see if it works. Mm. Uh, uh, can you hear me? What? How is a human speaking our language? An interesting creature. His body looks different from that of the humans we occasionally see. How so? Hmm. Well, in any case, right, I should introduce myself. My name is Suwam. Among us low dwellers. Oh, you said you call us sea people, right? You could say I'm the bravest and coolest male among them. Ahem. <laughs> Swam, nice to meet you. I'm Dave. Hey, hey, Dave. In our language, your name sounds very similar to broken toilet lid. Why do you guys have toilet lids? Aren't you fish? Don't you just poop wherever? What is with this creature? In any case, the person lying here is the daughter of the Sea People Village Chief, Ramo. Ever since being kidnapped by that stupid giant squid, she has been unconscious. Unconscious. If I had known about it a little earlier, I'd have shown that squid a thing or two. Don't get a big head for defeating that insignificant squid, a human. I am the one that guards Ramo. You really are a noisy one. In any case, you seem to have something to say. What is it? Oh, about that. In order to allow Ramo to recover, we need some medicinal herbs. I'm unable to leave, as I must stay and look after her. Human, you must acquire some medicinal herbs to help Ramo recover. The feather coral and lily coral grow in these parts. Please make them edible and bring them to me. Like, what, we gotta soak them in acid? Get the, the calcium carbonate off of them? How do we make them edible? Yeah, how do I do that? Ask for you to figure out, human. Go find a, chi a chef to help you or something. Hmm, she's ill, so I can't refuse to help her. Feather coral and lily coral, huh? I guess I'll take a look around first. Fine, feather coral. This is not coral. This is a sponge, I think. That's also a sponge. It's a ping pong tree sponge. Ping pong ball tree sponge? Something like that. This is some kind of cryonid. Oh. We don't harpoon the tube worms. We show them ultraviolet light, which I guess burns them. Because why would they have any resistance to ultraviolet light down here, right? What just beeped? Let's not worry about it too much. We got plenty of oxygen. Gotta find a feather. Bond. Oh, that beeped. I guess it tells me my, uh, ooh. What was this? It's a purple. Purple sea star. Not a spun, or not a, uh, we're looking for coral, right? And we're avoiding that whale shark. At least I think we're avoiding the whale shark, if we can. Yes. Okay, you know what? Actually, actually, we got ammo here. Okay, never mind. This was a mistake. This is a grave mistake. This is the dumbest thing I could have done. 
We gotta get through here before he does. Alright, so our objectives. We found both of those, and now we just need to take them to Boncho, and hopefully he can turn them into food. I'm gonna switch back to my harpoon. I think I can catch this guy. If I get the angle and distance just right. Is he dead? Um, slightly oops. We're almost full up, but we got plenty of oxygen to spare. I say plenty, we got like half a tank. You're supposed to leave at two thirds. Sort of a rule of diving. Why am I risking this for the stupid fish? Like that guy right there. I don't know what he is, but uh, he looks dangerous. If nothing else, he looks fast. Hmm. I tried to catch these guys last time. All right, we're almost overloaded. Let's make our way out of here. Before that weird shark kills us. We know where an escape pod is, so that shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Anything else we can take down here? You know, anything sort of free? That little puffer fish looks kind of free. I gotta use both hands for that minigame. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, is there anything good in this box? I might find another gun. O2. We could maybe take out... That was one of those aggressive stargazer fish down here. Probably shouldn't risk it. Probably shouldn't, but we're gonna. Uh, switch. You look interesting. Okay, 
that felt like I was tapping too fast. Pacific fanfish. I don't know that species. So much weird stuff deep underwater. I guess you can't really expect to know it all. Into the deep. Ooh, it seems I got everything that fussy halffish asked for. He wanted me to make this coral edible, right? I'll have to ask Boncho for help. <laughs> Let's go see if there's anything interesting going on at the fish farm. And then we'll ask Boncho for help. We got some new blue tang and some more new blue tang. Some trigger fish. Hey, Starry Puffer. Send to kitchen. So I send him three of these. Oh, I've got a lot of the two quality ones. That should be plenty. How many fish that leave, though? Five. Let's just send six more. Okay, uh, who else we got a lot of? Trigger fish. Sure, we'll send uh, the two high quality ones. That's a lot of fish. Maybe we'll let the Titan trigger fish breed a little bit more. How's our fullness on this tank? How do we check that? 48%, so it's still good. So we got some striped mullet. I think we have some cuttlefish recipes already. We can send a couple of those to the... Uh, To the chef. Gonna need to find the saw shark a new uh, mate or something. So we still haven't found any deeper fish, I guess. Mm. I'll tell you when fish hatch, so drop by then. I'll take good care of them, so no worries. What can we shop for here? Um, yeah, why not open this slightly deeper area? Why? Because it costs my money, that's why. We can expand this. There, now we can have more blue tang. Because blue tang is best fish. For sushi, apparently. Right, delivered a ton of blue tang. Maybe we'll take an opportunity to talk to the staff. Hmm, are you exercising? All energy comes from the muscles. Opening only for the evening, but I'm too exhausted at such a late hour. 
Customers have been flooding in lately. Are they fascinated by my beauty? Hey, Boncho, make this coral edible. Well, I think I can start with a porridge of sorts. Give me a moment. Ah, yes, porridge. Very, uh, very edible underwater. I guess we put it in a bottle. <laughs> Getting little bits of coral on his face. Here you go. I softened the coral to make it easy to eat, so it should be fine. No, Boncho, that's not... If you chop up coral, it just turns into, like, calcium sand. It's not food. It's mostly not food. It's got a little bit of little jellyfish things inside of it, but it's mostly not food. Whatever. Sea people. Maybe they can eat coral. Wow, thank you, Boncho. You're so quick. All right, I'll take this to Ramo. He's just gonna open up the bento and all the pores are just gonna like float away. Maybe they eat by filter feeding, the sea people. You know, do like a barnacle, they'll take their tail and just like scoop all the food that's in the water into their mouth. Not sure why I fed that cat, other than it asked me to. Which I'm pretty sure is how cats work. They ask you to feed them, you feed them. Alright, let's go catch some more fish and feed some sea people. Right at the edge of my range. Get those for upgrades. Baseball bat. Gives me a little more range, if nothing else. one made a mistake, as did that one. We don't need blue seashells. We can do with this guy, though. We're gonna serve so much trigger fish sushi tonight, as long as I don't do something stupid and drown. said oh we probably don't want to be in here what is this turmeric just straight up raw turmeric out in the middle of nowhere Oh, that current just kept going. Not sure why we want lead, but here we are. Flame harpoon. I'm gonna get it just to see what the quick time event is. Wait until that current's done. And that just completely negated getting the oxygen. No, it didn't. It did not completely negate getting the oxygen. Apparently we had iframes. 
good to know. Right, back down to our mission of killing this squid. I mean, cuttlefish. I mean, helping the sea people get better. That just looks weird underwater. The flaming arrow harpoon. Even the cord's red. It kind of reminds me of the plasma beam from Metroid Prime. Oh, that's where the Barracuda went. Oh, that's interesting. All of these extra oxygen refills down here anyway. It's very convenient. Underwater olive oil. Okay, uh, we're gonna shoot you. Probably should have saved the oxygen. Oh well. At least I got the quick time event this time. So bad it was. Controls, I gotta look down at the keyboard every time I hit tab. I can't just sight. Uh... What do you call it? Sight, um... Not sight. It's, it's just, you're, when you type and you don't look at your keyboard. I can't do that. You probably learn to do that. Hey, Barracuda. DD. That's a different quick time event. That's a quick time event I wouldn't have been able to do with a child. At all. Because I was just so slow at typing. Can I get more of these saris? WS. No, that's a Benito. That's a different kind of... That is more like a tuna. SA. Oh, we're almost overloaded again. <laughs> I need to maybe cool it with the catching random animals. There's that scary shark again. Got more of these scary... Oh, he's on fire! How does that work? Water in fire. That's so crazy. Okay, you just stay there, buddy. I'm not mo I'm not messing with you. No need to do that. We're just gonna go low. We're gonna hope that this crazy shark doesn't notice us. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm kind of grateful I don't have to press the uh, C button every time I use this flashlight. We'll save that for after we're done. There's a chance we'll need it. Here, I brought some coral porridge. Oh ho, you really brought it. Seems to be right. 
Okay. Sniffing underwater. Bravo, this is coral porridge. I prepared it myself. Oh, right. Well, um, everyone's happy now. We can go home. Phew, I feel much better now. I can't remember anything after seeing squid tentacles. Huh? A human? What is a human doing here? How, how do they recognize me as a human? I'm, like, covered head to toe in all this technology. Well, you could say I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brought you the coral porridge. Hmm, is that so? Wait, Ramo, that's not it. I'm actually the one who... All right then, human, you shall escort me back to my village. Oh, no. Are we gonna have to fight that scary shark? That weird-looking shark? Me? Why should I do it? I'm an injured lady. You need to keep anything dangerous from happening. I mean, generally speaking, the females of fish are bigger and stronger than the males. So this is a little bit weird that they have this part of their culture. Ramo, I can escort you too. Suam, you go ahead and scout our path. What? How would you let a human escort you? I can keep you safe and... You haven't even passed a village tactic exam. It was tough enough coming here. Ugh, that's a sore spot for me. Swam, stop complaining and be our lookout for the path ahead. As for you, human, you'll have to carry me on your back. I'm already overloaded, lady. On my back? It's hard enough to move around here as it is. Ow, my injured fin is hurting again. You are impossible. I'll take you to the village and no further, alright? You got a scooter, lady? Because I'm all loaded down in heavy jellyfish. Get to the target location safely with Rama on your back. Rama has the ability to open two worm paths. Watch her surroundings carefully and escort her safely. So I have to hold... my shooty button to escort her. That's a little bit difficult. I wonder if I'm extra slowed down because of the whole... you know, overweight over my carrying capacity. Don't take that the wrong way. Also, she emits UV light. Does that mean that she can, like, see UV? Good. Follow along. Make sure Ramo isn't hurt. Uh, okay. Like, we're doing fine oxygen-wise, I guess, but... That can quickly change if we run into one of those whale sharks. Especially with me being overburdened. And... Oh, he's on this way. Uh, I thought it was bad enough seeing that red jellyfish, but what is this vibration? It's rare to experience one so strong. Did something happen to the village? We must return quick. Hurry, human. Gonna hope I don't have to go through where that red jellyfish was. He kind of freaked me out a little bit. That's a big spine down there. Hang on, lady. I gotta refill my gun. 
There's a little sign down here for the, I guess, going to the fish village. Sea people, sea people village. Hey now, human, don't tell me you're tired already. Bring her carefully. I'm getting pretty tired of this guy, Swam. They do realize that I can't breathe down here, right? I've got extra oxygen, but... Oh, I kind of want some of the adamant. I can take a little bit. It won't slow me down that much. It's amethyst, not adamant. It says no something on that sign. Probably doesn't say no Daves. Either way, I can't read it, so it's not going to stop me. Man, they better have a uh, escape pod ready for me down here, because I'm going to drown if they do not. That's not good. Okay, she's almost dead. That's not really, that's really not good. And I'm almost out of oxygen. Oh yeah, we should probably switch to guns. Like, I can refill my oxygen, but she can't refill her health, as far as I can tell. Don't you dare, stargazer fish. Ramo, this... our path is blocked with rock. Oh no! What is going on? Um, it must have been the vibrations earlier. Swam, think of something. I need to get back quickly before my father scolds me even more. Um, hmm. Maybe we can open up a path by dropping the loose rock pile over there? If we can topple it and make it fall, it might just do the trick. Or it might crush the whole village. Who knows? We're gonna find out. I suppose it might work. How do you make the rocks fall, though? Hmm, I see a stake over there. Maybe if we pull it out? Human, can you pull that stake over there? The stake? I think I hurt my hands with the gloves I'm wearing. I could probably do it with gloves that are thicker and offer a better grip. Hi, Dr. Bacon. Dave, my apologies. I left the microphone on because I was dying to know what you were talking about. Sure you did. If it's enhanced diving gloves you need, I think my lab can help you out. Huh? New gloves. Haha! Ha. Equipment goes hand in hand with exploration, does it not? Come up to the boat! Static. I think there must be a way. Could you wait here for a moment? Hold it, human. You plan to leave Ramo in a dangerous place like this? Luckily, she has me guarding her. Still, be back quick. No, we're not going to go for the box. We're just going to get out of here. We're too deep. We're running out of oxygen. We need to upgrade our water... Our suits. Our wetsuit. So we can stand this pressure. So two things. We need to upgrade the wetsuit, and we need diving gloves. And we need to make a lot of money at Bonchos tonight to do that. Hmm. The road back to the Sea People Village, huh? How fascinating! My lab has developed some diving gloves that... to be used for retrieving artifacts. I see. That should let me pull out a stake without my hand slipping, right? Haha, <laughs> of course. 
It has various safety measures built in that'll let you move many more objects besides stakes. The long dive must have been tiring. Get some rest. I'll explain the details tomorrow. I'll come to the boat tomorrow morning. Of course he will. So we got some more blue tang row. Some great barracuda row. Maybe they'll start breeding. And Atlantic Bonito. That's new. <laughs> yeah, it might be time to upgrade my equipment, but specifically it's my wetsuit that needs upgrading, and I need money for that. So, to the sushi restaurant we go. If you run out of items on the menu, customers will only order seaweed. Ooh. Uh-oh. Who let this kid in here? Aren't you out a little late? Little kid, we haven't opened yet. Oh, wow. She has a puppet. Hello, kid! Um, you look like a student. We haven't opened yet. Come back a bit later. Listen, you... Beep! I heard you the one time, so stop blabbing! What in the world? I'm sorry, it wasn't me. You rotten blowfish, you! Get me food! Food! Um, what in the world is going on here? I think I've read about this somewhere. There's a therapy method that involves letting traumatized kids speak their mind through dolls. That sounds ineffective, but sure. Let's try it. Doll! How dare you! You idiots don't deserve to live! I suppose it could be something more complicated. Let's ask what she wants first. Calm blue and white trevally Ochazuke! I want it! I do! Um, that sounds like something older men would want. I don't know what's going on, but we'll have to give her what she wants for us to try and have a conversation. Kombu and white trevally Ochazuke. Let's check the ingredients first. Uh, do we know that? Well, it's not something we need to research. Was it white travailing? Mm. That's a pupper. That's a great travailing. I don't know if we've got white travailing. Looking like a no. Black and white snapper, great Trevally. Trevally, I'm not sure how you say that fish's name. Oh, nope, we got him. We got him. So we can make that. Okay, so we have a gray looking fish. We can put that on the menu, sure. That's not it. What do you mean we don't have any white trevally? We've caught them! Okay, that's not great. So we'll have to find some of them. Looks kind of like a big fat tuna looking thing. Got a blue top with yellow fins. Alright, well... Let's start with what we always start with. That's triggerfish. Blue tang. It costs nothing. How much it costs to enhance this now? If we enhance it, we get two more. Uh... We'll put some on the menu. Can we sort by, like, hastiness or 
price. Sort by price. So this is very expensive. Let's not put the max. Heck, just use two of each set of ingredients. We get 10 out of it. That's plenty. Season, seasoned Kajimat. We can sell that for 65 gold? That's crazy. I guess gotta be upgraded at once. It's more expensive. How about this? Titan Triggerfish. I mean, that's already pretty tasty. So yeah, let's go with that. We need something for like filler, so cuttlefish sushi? It's not very good. If we enhance it, it gets a lot better. It's Masamune used as a chef's knife. Don't worry, fish, it'll be painless. You won't even know you're dead. Okay, that's improved enough. And... What else we got a lot of? Longfin Batfish. Long Nose Shark. Does not taste very good. We can make it acceptable. Alright, that's 10, 50, 25, 35, 45, 51 servings of sushi for tonight. I think that'll be enough. No, oh, she's rolling. First in order first. Tea. I should have prioritized the beer, it costs more. Getting pretty good at foreign drinks. Gonna waste a little bit there. So we gotta find some white trevelys. Not a great profit today, but. It'll do. Okay, so divey gloves. What you need from me? 
here. These are special diving gloves made in our research facility. With these, you want to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself? Into the water. Uh, I need to upgrade my suit. Cardinal fish. Objects can be picked up will show a button when you get near them. First try grabbing the pile of rocks over there and dropping them. That's weak wood, so you should be able to break through it. Alright. Very nice. Let's try going down. Can't grab the anchor. That current's strong. Grab that anchor so you won't be swept away. Good. You can grab an object that that an like that to anchor yourself. That'll come in handy in place with strong currents. Oh, I see something shiny back there. Grab the stake and in front of you and pull. And the rocks falling didn't kill me. Nice. Awesome! Since the path is open, grab the treasure up top before coming back. Collect treasure. Collect love. Dave, have you read the email you just got? No. <laughs> yes, it says it'll be a tuna party soon. Oh. Right, and tuna is Sushi's best friend. We can sell them for a good profit. Oh. I haven't seen tuna in the blue hole for a while. It's the beginning of tuna season now. <laughs> we will be able to make a fortune using this party. Ha ha ha. Hmm. But isn't it difficult to catch tuna? I hear they're very fast swimmers. <laughs> Whoa, well, <laughs> that's why investment is needed. <laughs> In the afternoon, I will bring a tool that can catch tuna. I'll see you later then. Oh, looks like Dr. Bacon left abruptly again after finishing the explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they could come in very handy. I heard that the sea people are waiting for you. Go down there and try pulling out the sake. Alright, but first... We gotta upgrade my dive seat so I don't get crushed down there. Don't need to make any of these things. Check what bacon put on cook stuff. Emo, emo, emo. The taste of chewy squid sushi. I can still remember it. I need to go back. Hmm, researching with a view of the sea feels great. Who made those jellyfish shaped fireworks? They're so cute. That ain't about me. Best diving spot. Hey there, divers. This is Diver City. Today we're introducing Hammerhead's Paradise of Costa Rica's Bajo Alcione. Hammerheads can be found on Cocos Island, only accessible through Liveboard. You can meet groups of over 100, depending on the season. Hello residents, Blue Hole Tourism Board here. The Blue Hole is getting more and more well-known, and interest is growing. In three days, a yacht party will be held, as a lot of wealthy people will be likely to come. If there is a restaurant that can handle preparing high-class tuna dishes, this could significantly increase sales. We ask for your support until it becomes the best attraction in the world. Blue Hole Tourism Committee. Uh, we got anything on the... Ecos? No? No, 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 no. Gotta kill one more Barracuda. I don't really care about my marine cards. Wait, what does Otto want to talk to me about? Hmm, not picking up. Alright, never mind. I 
Actually, I'm going to take a second before we do the second dive. So, I'll be right back. If you're watching this, uh, headphone warning. Here we go. I'll be back in like a minute. All right, I'm back. So let's dive. Let's try to find the white trevally and destroy some rocks. Fried egg jellyfish. We are batfish. Grab ourselves some treasure. Bang stick. Seems fine to me. Keeping an eye out for any big kind of fat tuna looking fish. Mm, not gonna use the bat. You're not a white trevally. Guns? Lightning harpoon. Sure. Squeaky hammer, no. Now she's way a kilogram. Doesn't work on them. Hey, Titan Triggerfish. He's food. He's good food now. Oh, nice. It marked them for me. I do not mind this minigame. That 
that is not that bad at all. Pink seashell. Gun upgrade. Uh, sleepy gun. Level 2 sleepy gun. Sure, why not? It might be dangerous to hit them too close. We might get shocked ourselves. Can I just assemble this? Hopefully he doesn't disassemble one of my inventory. Oh, look, we can get some more kelp while we're at it. Alright, that'll help. Kelp weighs basically nothing. Unlike these bones, which weigh a lot. Eh, it's a third of a kilogram. That's not super heavy. Sorry, I've already caught some of your companions, so, uh, you're on the menu now. Oops! Okay, so, easy minigame, and if you mess it up, you get shocked. You look kind of like a tuna. I mean, probably not, but... We're not gonna get quality meat out of this guy at all. I have shocked him way too much. Sorry, critter. That's a giant Trevally? I thought they were more colorful, the giant ones. <laughs> Refill my O2. Are you a tiny little yellow pen? Nope, that's scad. And I'm overburdened. Oops. This is gonna this is gonna make it a little bit harder getting to the bottom. Alright, we can't catch anything else. We are full. There's no more room in the end of the dead. Fish. you thinking I care. Alright, that's not the way to the depths. I want to just avoid this sawtooth shark if I can. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Like, I upgraded my carrying capacity and then immediately start 
collecting way too much stuff again. <clears throat> Speaking of way too much stuff... Yeah, that'll help. Those look kind of like tuna. Are you for real? Leave me alone, Barracuda. I can't eat you, so I'm not going to kill you. need a flashlight. Okay, that's bullets and stuff. Probably more direct path straight down. Let's try to find that before we go through with UV lighting. Okay, this looks good. said, UV light get back in your hole. Ow. No, we don't need the blue purple starfish. Leave the purple starfish. Hmm, is that pile of rocks moving around? <sighs> it's a bite. Am I gonna fight something here? Oh no, it's a stupid octopus. I don't want to play with you, octopus. I'm gonna play with you, octopus, but you better have a good treasure for me. I won't let you get away this time, just you wait. Mission updated, Octopus returns. Nice. Pick up the rock, Dave. Oh, they didn't break it. It just kind of damaged it a little bit. Broke the rock, though. What kind of wood are we dealing with here? Great, the path is clear. Just wait, you octopus. Octopus! Hey, how dare you spray ink twice? I won't let you get away with this. Ask Boncho for takoyaki. Dude, I can't break through that. Or maybe I can. Or you broke it for me. Okay, never mind, he's helping. He's being a helper. Ah, uh, it ran away again. It's definitely quick. Hmm? It dropped something again. Hmm, it always leaves something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. Maybe we don't need to eat the octopus. Maybe octopus is friend. Seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back in the surface. So if this isn't a dead end, but there's something dangerous right there. Oh! Well, I guess this is a shortcut. Sure. Let's get our gun out. Oh, we switched to Sleepy Gun. I forgot. That's not good. That is not good.
Because that guy is not going to go to sleep with Sleepy Gun. Good thing the two worms don't do that much damage. Hmm, who can like that starfish? Brittle Star. He's mine now. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you'd been eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. Is that what that big scary one is? Sounds about right, frilled shark. She talks like someone I know. I think I'll be able to pull out the stake if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon, who lives on land. Like, that explains who Dr. Bacon is. Bacon? Heh <laughs> heh. In our language, that name sounds like spoiled whale meat. Heh <laughs> heh. Um, okay. Wait a moment. Let me try to pull it out. Pull out all the stakes. And don't get crushed by rocks. Dave is superhuman. Okay, do we just add more rocks to the pile? Cause it looks to me like we just added more rocks to the pile. It was effective, but not enough. Um, I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Uh, there's no movable device over there. I'll have to go check it out first. I'm just switching to my little underwater scooter just in case we need to run. Let's see. Hmm, nothing that can be done on this side. I'll have to try going around back. Is there a way back this way? There's some of those not quite as scary jellyfish here. Shame to eat you. Cookie cutter shark. Yeah, this might have to wait, because... I'm pretty badly overburdened at this point. Yeah, sorry fish people, I mean sea people, I gotta, I gotta scoot on out of here. Cause I just cannot move fast enough to do this. Y'all uh, have a good life. Oh, actually no, I'll be back in the afternoon. Right? This is just the morning dive. Okay, we got some lionfish row, but you shouldn't be breeding those. And big eyed scad row. Oh, what the octopus give us? Carrying capacity up, come on. A mysterious weapon charm left behind by the octopus. Maybe something cool will happen if it's attached to a gun. Extra 15% of gun base damage added. Uh, that's cool, but. <laughs> Well, let's hunt tuna for real, shall we? 
Take this, it's a steel net sensor trap. Even the swiftest and biggest tuna cannot escape this trap. And I got a secret weapon for today's hunt. The underwater drone. It took me quite some time to replace the one you broke last time. It's very expensive to buy, you know. And that wasn't my fault. It broke the moment I activated it. I made a big investment for moments like this. This is what a businessman does. Let me show you how to use that. Just follow my instructions. Dive in the water. First instruction, dive in the water. Got it. Pacific fanfish. Oh, we caught that, didn't we? The guy you like spread out. I guess first we gotta find tuna, right? Yeah, it won't let, it won't let me use my harpoon. Oh, that's a big tuna. Oh, I see tuna. The fish is big but fast. I would love to catch him. Should I use a tool? Hey kids, what tool should we use to catch the giant tuna? Set a trap on their potential routes. Wow, okay, they do damage when they hit me. Approach tuna and call the salvage. Oh god. Okay, one more time. One more time. Got him. That is one single big tuna. Oh, with this, I can get big tuna with no problem. I am impressed. It's very powerful, so if you ever catch a big fish, use the drone. You'll need to use one of these drones to keep the grade of your catch. Fish with wounds can't have a high grade. I'll lend you the drone for now. It's the basic model without any options because it's expensive. Bring that to iDiver if you want upgrades. Now, let's collect as many ingredients as we can before the tuna party. So now I can collect only a limited number of fish, but we can upgrade it. And he took away my bomb he just gave me. Let's see about weapons. Basic underwater rifle. Nope. So we've already caught the Trevelys we need. All we really need to do is deal with that rock, that rock pile. This rock is wiggling. Need to stop catching literally every fish I see. Save some room for the ones really deep in the ocean that are evil. Bang stick. Oh, wait, auger. Auger doesn't weigh much. We can collect auger. It's called a red-throated trigger fish, but a red tooth trigger fish, but it looks pretty blue to me. I swear I don't have a problem. I do not have a compulsion. I can get money for this. Stay with that Titan trigger fish.
maybe the way down to the depths is this way. And nope. No, it is not. But there is a fragment. Come on, be something good in the box. What's in the box? It's oxygen. It's fine. You know what? We can we can work with that. That does not hurt. That was preemptive. I didn't want him attacking me. That's all. Still don't have a compulsive issue. A basic underwater rifle. Nope. We'll take you for scrap, though. We still got plenty of room for whatever nasties decide to attack us down here. If this is the path down to the depths, it's very wide. It's like it's usually not this big. Or am I crazy? Hey, bomb. Cause a powerful explosion when the trigger is pressed. Might be fun to play with. Might be able to kill something interesting with it. Alright, which way looks like the depths? I'm gonna go with this way. And I'm wrong. Yay. Depth is on this side. I got room? I got room. I got room for you. Come here. Like I said, come here. Easiest minigame. Probably worse for your keyboard, but easiest. We're at half capacity. I mean, who knows, maybe, maybe White Trevally is going to be our new best dish. Kind of glad I'm mashing on a $20 keyboard and not on a $70 Nintendo Switch controller. <laughs> Let's look out for the gill shark. I'm gonna... Uh... It's probably not the best plan, but we're gonna do it anyway. Don't know what you are, you don't want to find out. Okay, UV light, so let's drink our oxygen and try to find a way to break those rocks. No guarantee that the uh, unbroken rocks can be on this side again, but Got enough oxygen to do some exploration. Should probably switch to gun. In case we get in trouble with the uh, sharks again. different. Opal. Hmm. 
you know, you'd expect there to be a better gun down this deep, right? Grenade launcher. Uh, yes. That's an MSGL type launcher. Whoops, the technical target slipped out of me. That's a multi something 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 something. Hey! 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 No. Bad stargazer. Let's not waste our grenades on these, uh, jellyfish. What is this? Oh, oxygen. So we still can't go in this door. I kind of need to find out if there's a path over top here, though. And rubber burdened. Hey, he's avoiding me. Try not to pick up that fish because we're kind of overburdened. Oh, look, they blink out of existence after a while. Uh oh. No, 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 no. That did a lot of damage. Huh. He made it so that my carrying capacity went down. And now I can't pick up anything else, so... It's basically get out of here... or drown. That is not wonderful. But yeah, the sea people just have to wait. We will help them some other time. Luckily, this emergency escape is right here, so... We got some good stuff. We got some cool things on our little trip. Didn't help the sea people as much as they would like, but, uh, that's... You know, maybe they can take care of themselves. Maybe they're big sea people. Rocket launcher. Got one bluefin tuna. I never used that bomb. I should have put a bomb! That's why I should have taken care of that stupid s jellyfish. Uh... Let's go check on our... Fish farm. So I've got 21 blue tang. Got nine... Triggerfish, anything here we don't want. Now let's uh let's simplify things here a little bit. Let's go to this Mediterranean parrot fish. Just sell it. Yellow back fusley. Starry puffer. Hey, he sells for a lot. We'll leave these since we've been breeding them anyway. Cardinal fish, do we need them? Leaving the fish row here will mean we get more fish in the future, right? 
Maybe we cuttlefish. See, Pacific Bonito, we probably can keep that. Atlantic Mackerel. Dusky Grouper, he doesn't seem very... Let's send him with the rest. Otherwise, they're all, oh, they're at ninety-three percent. We gotta we gotta clear that out a bit. We gotta clear this out a bit. Um, giant Trevally or the Saw Shark. Probably not gonna catch a lot of these. Selling will leave less than two mackerel scad, making reproduction impossible. Yeah, it's fine. All right, they're still pretty dense. Maybe we could send some of these to the kitchen. Only one that's level three. Okay, we got a lot of strike mullet now. And they're back to 50%-ish. How many blue tank can we send? Let's not send half. There we go. A third. Oops. Cancel that. Uh, cancel. I guess I accidentally hit E. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to go back to the boat. That's another loading screen you guys gotta sit through. Sushi. Alright, we've upgraded our comparing capacity, we've upgraded our suit. We probably need to hire more staff. But we've only got room for kitchen staff. His cooking's okay. Or we could buy a TV ad. See if we get a better candidate, quality candidate than that. All right, we have no other staff to hire. Research. What can we make that's new? Bluefin tuna rice bowl. Yeah, we'll probably want that. Wow, that sells for a lot. Yellowfin tuna steak. Hawaiian poke. More yellowfin tuna things. Alright, so next time we go swimming, we gotta go research some... We gotta catch some tuna. Uh, today's menu... Will, as always, contain Blue Tang Sushi. We need 51 to enhance it, and it only makes it cost. It's not worth it. This is our cheap, this is our cheap sushi. There, that's plenty of it. Go nuts. We're gonna save those bluefin tunas. Oh yeah, we need to make this. That sells for all- Why does the little kid get 93 gold? I 
mean, just one is probably enough for her. Puts five servings on the menu, she'll get it. Uh, what do we got a lot of that sells for a lot? Long nose saw shark meat. If we upgrade this, it gets a lot tastier. My pride as a restaurateur will not let me serve less than 50% tasty food unless I'm really desperate. Whoever made these animations did a great job, and I hope they had a great time. Okay, we need some more filler here. Uh, what do we got a lot of? Oh, that's not great. That's not great either. These are not good food. This is okay food. It's good enough. We can make it a little bit better, but no. We don't need 20 servings. Let's go with like 15. Just to make sure everyone's fed. Titan Triggerfish. Is very tasty. It would take all of them to enhance it. It would be even tastier, but no, it's good enough at... I didn't mean to click that button. Okay, so Titan Triggerfish isn't on the menu today. Uh... It's a little nuts that Clownfish Sushi is only two. You would think people would pay for just the novelty of it. Uh, Jellyfish. We only got three of those. How much will that serve? Only makes three servings, so no. Um, mackerel scad is very not good. We're gonna enhance it, and we're gonna pretend we didn't see that. Um, auger. We got lots of auger. How much? Oh, we've only got enough to make. Well, it's five servings, but... Fangtooth Sushi. People might want to eat that. I mean, it doesn't taste very good, but, you know, for the novelty of it. How much it costs to enhance? Three. Three makes it a lot better. Fine. Cookie Cutter Shark costs a lot. Wow. Seasoned Kajime. Still can't make much of a... We're gonna put this on the menu. Oh, if we upgrade it, we still have 12 servings. Okay, that's hopefully enough food for everyone. Here we go. Yeah. Let's do this. Time for me to serve tea and great wasabi. And they do all the rest of the work. I guess I have to be the one that serves the little girl with her puppet. Is she gonna put food in the puppet's mouth? No? It's a Cleon A. Cleon? Oh, wow. Right, no time to get distracted. Never mind, we are getting distracted. Huh? Why are you crying suddenly? 
It's too good, you beep! This is way too good! Damn it, it's too good! It reminds me of my father. Well, what's going on, kid? My name is Maki. I'm looking for my father. He was killed by the six finger men. No. My father left to explore the depths. I can't get in touch with him anymore. His favorite food was kombu and white travaglio chazuke. And I heard you sell it here. I thought he might have come by here. That's a pity. It'll, I'll be sure to tell you if we see someone looks like your father. And what is that doll? This is a Cleon plushie. My father gave it to me before he left. Oh, I have a favor to ask. It's about the Cleon? I've never seen one in person. Can you catch one for me? No, I tried. They won't, the game won't let me catch them. Oh, huh? a Cleon. Um, we can't catch him so small with a harpoon. What do we do? Could we use this? A bug net? Hmm, I think it might work. Yes, they are sea slugs, so they are bugs, right? All right, I'll give it a shot. What are you doing, you walrus? Get your tights on and jump in the water! Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't control my emotions that well yet. Uh... You can now use the bug net to capture small creatures like seahorses and Cleon that can't be caught with a harpoon. Okay, but yeah, we got a business to run here. Sorry, beer worth more money than tea. It's terrible. Terrible pour. I am so off on the rhythm of that. Do we make a lot of money? We made some money. Pretty okay. Tuesday and raining. We haven't seen rain yet. Maki Maki uploaded a new post. Let's go creep on a child on our Cooksta app. It was amazing. <laughs> the ocean is such vast mysteries. I think I'm a little drunk. Wow, we it's a scary fish, but it's got a gentle flavor. Lovely. Help really brings up the taste of the sea. Alright, that's enough uh, looking at social media. So now we can upgrade our drone. It costs a lot of money. Cheapest thing we could do now is get more oxygen. Which we haven't had much of a problem with yet. I mean, except for that those times I drowned. Um, but what if we get a shark harpoon gun? It looks like a shark. I want to shoot things with the shark. Uh, do you have anything on here we can turn in? Yes. Research shells. Okay. Uh, overpopulated fish. And we got an Eco Poison Resist Bracelet. Don't know what that does. We still need to find some orange starfish. Pick up more auger. Find some skull fossils. Kill some fried egg jellyfish. And back to collecting seashells, I guess.
So next we'll get Eco Gemstone Bracelet. Okay. Probably just get more gems. Can't make ourselves a grenade launcher yet. Alright, well... That was some good fishing. We didn't uh, drown a single time this time, so I'm pretty happy with that. We still need to break some rocks and catch some tuna and... Uh, can we rent that... Can we rent that tuna catching thingy from him? We can. Steel net sensor trap. The net automatically releases when the sensor detects any movement. Ink bomb. Emergency pager. That sounds helpful, but... Oh, we can sell all kinds of stuff here. Like, we can sell our large gold bar. Or some of those silver bowls. There, let's sell like half of them. Now we have a little bit of money. Gonna totally forget about that. Um, yeah, so I guess we need to buy some of those traps for the tuna. And try to help us see people get home. But, oh, and I guess we have to collect some Cleones. Cleone, Cleone, Sea Angel, I don't know what to call it. But I'm gonna go now. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day. All that noise. Sorry for the lack of sound. Boop, boop. Boop. Okay, bye-bye.